my channel so today I thought I would do a slightly different video to what I normally do as we're approaching the end of the year I've watched a couple of other videos and it gave me the idea to do this for myself just to go back and reflect on what I've achieved in 2020 and what I plan to do in 2021 so I've got my notes on my iPad because I wrote some goals down for myself at the beginning of the year but I didn't share it with anybody so we'll go back and see if I've achieved any of those what extra I've achieved and if I've got any goals so I'll start off by just introducing myself because some of you may not know the you know me behind the camera when I post my other videos so I'm Tina obviously my main profession is in aviation that's where I work full-time and obviously that's been hit hard this year because of what's been going on and there was a few months where I wasn't working I was furlough leave so in that time I focused my efforts on other things also what I do on the side of my main job is I'm a qualified beauty therapist and nail tech so I run that little side self-employed business uh, on the side of my main job so that's what my goals were initially so I'll just go back and see what I wrote as my 2020 goals and we'll see what I've achieved some of you on, in you know my subscribers you're here because I now post resin videos so when I first started YouTube I was just doing nail little nail videos although my video quality you know wasn't the best I'm still learning how to do that and I developed the skill of resin and I love watching resin videos so I've started posting those types of videos now so comment down below and let me know if you're here for the beauty nail videos or if you're here for resin or what it is you want to see from me because then it will help me create more content so my 2020 goals my first one was to create a digital planner so i'm one of these that i write lists so like now my ipad i've got a whole pages of lists and lists and i tick them off and i this year i did start using a paper planner and i got to about halfway through the year then i stopped because just to carry around a book it's too much for me I prefer to all have it digital so I thought I would create my own, my own dig digital planner but that never happened I ended up focusing on other things but maybe one day that will be something that I will work towards once I've cleared my other list of to do's another thing was to learn Reiki so this is on the beauty side learn Reiki so I've been attuned now to Reiki up to Reiki 2 I still haven't completed my course so I need to complete my course I'm probably probably about 75% through but then I just start start something else and I don't finish so I need to go back to my Reiki and finish that another thing that I wanted to learn was dermaplaning so this year I did do a course in dermaplaning and I'm now qualified to do that treatment so that was something I wanted to do for ages and I've done it uh, on the business side of things I wanted tax return to be completed by the summer so I'd, I normally leave it till last minute in January as I had a lot of time off I actually did get my tax return done literally by the end of April I think it was so that was all good and ready to go so I was up to date up to that point and then as I've got busier doing other things I've just got receipts piling up and I need to get back on it then YouTube so YouTube god I started YouTube videos a few years ago and I used to just randomly post and if you look back on my first sort of uh, videos they were just like vlog videos trying to do weekly vlogs but when you've got like 400 subscribers and you get like 10 views and it was a lot of work to edit and do these videos I was like is it really worth it so I stopped then my goal this year was to get myself to at least a thousand subscribers I wanted to get all my client records up to date which I have done uh, so I've created spreadsheets for each of my clients every time they come for a treatment I update their records and I do use an online booking system but I didn't want to record 
their treatments on there because not everyone books through that so I do my own sort of spreadsheet and I log everything that I do with that client talking of clients I wanted to have a digital loyalty app I used to use the cards with the stamps on the back I wanted to go digital I didn't want to pay a lot so I did find a digital app let me just bring it up on my phone I use this app here it's called Opaso Stamp and I think I pay something like eight pounds a month maybe which when I've not been doing clients for the months and weeks that we haven't been able to do clients I'm still having to pay and they don't suspend the payment but for the moment that's what I'm using if I decide to change it then I will and lastly my last goal uh, business wise and on that side of things was to blog more regularly so i have got a blog i randomly post on there i think i've got like nine followers on my blog i really wanted to blog and use it as a as a written diary of what i'm doing and things like that and a blog that would help people but again it's the numbers that gets me if i don't have the followers i think who am i writing this for nobody's interested in what i have to say so i sort of stopped that again but i have got a few blog posts and i, I really uh, like the posts that i've put up already so if you haven't already i will link that also down below check out my blog my other ones were personal ones so what have i achieved in 2020 so i always wanted to start press on nails i always see press on nails and i was always thinking how can i bring that into my business or how can I launch it or how do I launch it so this summer early summer I did launch press on nails I now sell them on, on Etsy so I've now got an Etsy shop which I never had before so I sell a lot of press on nails now and it I notice it more when we're in a lockdown or a restriction that people want the press ons but I send them all over the UK so that went really well I have got a few videos up on my channel previously of press-ons and how I measure them how I started so if you haven't seen those and you're interested then check out the press-on nail videos and obviously I started an Etsy store so I always thought could I have an Etsy store why would I need an Etsy store what would I put on Etsy so I sell my press-on nails through Etsy and more recently because i've learned also to do resin this year i have some of my resin items on etsy and i'm selling resin on etsy as well my resin pieces so i was really glad to have an etsy store and a store that is getting views and sales so it's doing well youtube so i hit my like i said earlier i hit my youtube goal i hit 1000 subscribers so i was really happy with that i wanted to redecorate my salon and i had three months off not working in there and i never did it because it was hot i was doing other things so i didn't do it and then we went into another lockdown in november for a month so that was my opportunity to decorate refreshen up the salon uh, my salon's in my garden it's a home salon and i did it i decorated my salon it looks beautiful it looks fresh to some people they may say it still looks cluttered but hey it's a small space and I need all the stuff and I just don't want cupboards everywhere I have recorded me decorating my salon so that video is just waiting to be edited and by the new year or in the new year at some point hopefully at the beginning that will be published so you'll get to see the transformation of my salon so I was glad I did that and then on a personal level I got a promotion at work even though we're not as busy in the aviation world as we were before I did get a promotion just recently so that was another goal that I achieved or something I always kept striving for and I finally got it so 2021 goal so I'm just gonna run through my list of what are my goals are for 2021 and then this time next year we're gonna come back to this video and we're going to see if I achieved those goals or how I achieved those goals and having it documented on video almost will make me push and do it because I know that there's people waiting to see if I've done it so I can't just hide my list to myself and no one will know 
So my first one is to complete my online learning. So I've signed up to a lot of online learning, one of them of which is my AET, my award in education and teaching. So I want to complete all those courses. Some of them are probably got a 12 month window that I had to do it so I have to complete them but one especially is my AET course and once I've completed that I'm hoping that by the end of the year I've got a couple of courses ready to go ready to teach um, like in the basic manicure or gel polish I would like to have courses ready to teach and maybe because of the times I may look at doing online teaching some people agree with online some don't but that's my goal and I'm going to I've got a list of all my courses that I'm doing so I need to complete those and yeah we'll see how that goes my next ones are YouTube so my goal last year was to hit my 1000 subscribers which I did halfway through the year it's gradually been growing up I'm almost at 2000 I'm about 100 short and um, I've set myself a big goal and it's just for me to give myself a number but I would like to be at 5000 subscribers by the end of 2021 might do it might not but if I carry on being consistent in my videos and putting out content that people want to see then hopefully they will subscribe so if there's any content you want to see then please put it in the comments below because then it will help me put out the correct content talking of numbers Instagram so my Instagram for my beauty page I managed to grow it by this year by maybe 300 and it grew it went over like 700 and something and then people unfollow so people almost follow you so you follow them back and then they unfollow so I want people to follow me that want to follow me and I want to be I said I was going to be more consistent on Instagram and post daily I don't post daily I've got so many pictures um, that I need to put out and post but I just never get around to it so I want to be consistent on Instagram on my beauty page I'll link that down below and hopefully it'll be on the screen here I want to grow my subscribers to at least oh my god I've put 2,000 I'm at just below 700 and I want to get to 2,000 so if you're interested in the nails beauty sort of thing you can follow that Instagram that's beauty underscore by underscore Tina but that will be linked below and then talking of Instagram I set up a new Instagram for my resin so it's called beautiful underscore creations 82 so that will be down below as well so if you're not following me on that instagram then be sure to head over and follow but that's why i just post pictures of my work my battery died so as i was saying now i'm up to 49 followers so i'd love to grow that to at least a thousand maybe two thousand so if you're interested in resin and you like to follow resin pages and you're on instagram then follow me I've got things like this so this is a hand that's just been finished uh, I've got a video of how I make these hands it's just been posted not this particular one and then here's I'll just show you this other one because I love this one I've just done it in black this one still needs to be finished it still needs it's coloring in and top coat and then that one's finished but these are my resin pieces never would have thought at the beginning of the year that I would be able to do something like this so that's my resin um patreon i'd love to start patreon so i see a lot of youtubers talk about patreon and follow you know come on patreon join that community i'd love to build a community if you were you know or you're into resin and you were to join the patreon what is it you would want from the different tiers that's what i'm struggling with because i know a lot of people on patreon they're artists and they offer dr uh, drawings and things like that but for me to offer to send pieces of resin that I've made that's a lot of work and a lot of money because resin is not cheap but what is it you'd want to see let me know down below because I really want to start that in the new year I need to keep researching um, as to what I want to do so talking of my resin business I've started a new website so I did start putting things on my Wix website which is my beauty page and I created a shop but I just didn't like the way it looked it was cropping my pictures so I've moved it to Shopify so it's almost ready um, I just need to still finalize some bits and you know custom pieces that can be or pieces that can be custom made like with names and things like that I need to sort of add that text in I spent a whole day yesterday 
just trying to learn how to put that code in but I, I managed to do it so hopefully my website will launch very soon uh, I will link it below if it's launched by the time you watch this video if not I'll come back and add it in um, and I want to grow my resin business so I've had quite a few sales in December and I think that's for, because it's Christmas and people like to buy these unique gifts but I'd like to expand it and grow I'm just currently trying to do jewelry now with resin yes yeah, so I've got pieces like this this is a that's something I've done with uh, open bezels that would be like a pendant and then I've also been creating some Pandora beads but they're not finished I still need to get the eyelets that fit so I'm waiting for those to arrive I almost forgot these last ones because they were on a different page but I want to start restart sending out monthly newsletters so I use MailChimp to send newsletters I sporadically send them I just sent one for Christmas uh, but you get a couple of people unsubscribed so I haven't got a massive list I've probably got about 90 odd people on my newsletter mailing list but I want to send out monthly newsletters and valuable newsletters so I'll try and do that I also want to get back to my blog so I want to start blogging again is there anything you want to see on a blog that you would read on a blog what is it you're after I, I was sort of writing it like a diary but do you want more valuable content I need to plan out some blog posts and then TikTok so I never went I sub, I joined TikTok to watch it and it can literally take over for hours it's so entertaining but how will it work for business can I use it for my business I'll try and re-explore that again does anyone else use TikTok and what is it you post on there so I'm interested to read those comments down below as well last couple of goals they're just more personal goals so from the beginning of 2020 I have gained a lot of weight I, I was probably like two stone lighter but locked down and what to do when you're sat at home just eating all the time I've gained weight again so my aim is to lose my weight at least two stones my goal before when I'd lost weight was four stones so and lastly I've been back to crocheting so I've got these squares that I've done a long time ago and they were done when I was learning to knit and I've picked up the crochet needle again and I've started doing crochet squares so I've got like these and my aim is to have this blanket with all my squares and keep building up the squares to have a nice little patchwork blanket and that's just a personal thing it's not to sell it's just something I've always been doing but never finishing so my aim is to finish this blanket so that's it for my 2020 review and my goals for 2021. We'll come back this time next year and we'll see where we're at and how things have changed. Hopefully this virus has gone soon and we can get back to normal life and get back to being busy again. Although my list is long. But I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope it inspires you to reflect, although it's been a bad year, that even though it has been a bad year you can still achieve some goals and things that you've always wanted to do use this time when you're at home to do things that you've never normally had time to do so that's what I did and set yourself some goals for 2021 doesn't matter if you don't achieve them but if you set them you may achieve them not all of them but as long as some then you've done well so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel like i said i'm trying to grow it so follow me on my instagram pages they will be linked down below hope you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>